Hey, what's up, guys? This is a follow-up video in regards to a comment I received on my Risen Thoughts video, basically stating that a DAW can use all cores you have available on your CPU and shares the workflow between the cores in the most efficient way. Kind of true, but kind of not true, right? How Ableton works is each track, each channel's effects uh, or CPU will be can only be assigned to one core. And this is straight from the horse's mouth or the, the dog's bollocks, affecting uh, Ableton versions six through nine, all operating system. The symptom is high CPU load on one core only when using multi-core machines. The reason is Live cannot use multiple CPU cores to process a single track or signal path. Very important to uh, take that into account. Additional information, I'll just read, why not? A single track that has multiple plugins can only be processed by one CPU core. Sending audio signals from one core to another would cause unwanted delay. The result would be a dropout or another artifact. This means that a set with only one track can cause a quite high CPU load if the track contains CPU hungry plugins. That's why I said that single core performance is one of the things that you want to look at. It's not something that you want to compromise uh, for more cores. Um, so, yeah, that's that's basically it. Um, it's not just looking at uh, the Cinebench numbers and saying, hey, I want that, because that'll run Ableton in the most efficient way. Not entirely true. The, the bottleneck in your DAW, in most DAWs, Ableton, FL Studio, I've confirmed, I don't know about the other ones, is single core performance that's the main bottleneck these days i guess that'll cause underruns and undesirable stuff so uh yeah that is it and this was in regards to risen which had pretty good single core performance so the point the point still stands that you know i guess risen is um a pretty good choice as per multi-core or no multi-core performance and single core performance you have to look at both and uh, decide, um, you know, come up with a compromise. But I wouldn't compromise on single core performance when selecting your CPU. Anyway, hope you learned stuff. Take care and leave a comment and have a good one.